In this video, you are going to learn how you are able to track star statuses using color coding like this. Now I'm changing WIP, Q, completed, the color will change to green. If I change the task number 5 to WIP, and the color will change automatically. Let's see how we're able to get this done in this video. What you could see on the screen now, on the left side, it has a task, person in charge, budget, and status. And meanwhile, on the column G, it lists down all the possible statuses for the individual task. So now, I'm going to convert all of them into an Excel table by going into Insert, and you will see that option say Tables. All the keyboard shortcut will be Control T. And you can see the whole thing is selected. And I can press OK. Now, before I continue, I want to give this table a meaningful name so that later it's much more easier for us to do subsequent analysis. So now you are inside table design. Going towards the left side, you will see table name. Currently, it says table 2. My recommendation is to keep the prefix table because in future, you want to search for the particular table name it will be much more easier. Some people, they want to use acronym, for example, TB or T underscore, that would be totally fine. My personal recommendation is to use table because it's much more easier to understand by using acronym. It's not easy to understand by general public. So now I want to give it a table name. So this is called table project and press enter. So I want to do the same thing for the status. Let me click inside the status and I go to insert table and the keyboard shortcut is control T. It will highlight the entire section. I can press OK. And similarly, I want to give it a meaningful name inside table design. And going towards the left side, you will see there's a table name. I maintain the prefix as table. So this is about task status. I want to table task status and press enter once I'm done. So the next thing I want to do is to do some adjustment on the color. So I click on the left side. I do not want to use banded rows because they will be confused with the color coding row. And I want to view, I want to turn off the grid line so that it makes the thing much more easier to see. After I've done these aesthetic changes, I want to have a drop down for all these statuses using the status on the right side. To do so, I just need to go to data. Going towards the right side, you will see there's something called data validation. Click on data validation. In the allow, choose list. Click inside the source and you will select everything here. Excluding the header, just need to select the data part of it. And you can press OK. So now you can see the drop down is available here. And the next part is how we're able to create the color coding for individual status. To create the color coding for individual row, we just need to select the entire data. Go to home, conditional formatting, new rule. Just need to select use formula to determine which cells to format. That's the last option. Click inside the formula and you click the very first row of the status and press F4 twice to make it is it an absolute column and relative row. And you can see there's a dollar sign in front of the alphabet D and there's a no dollar sign in front of number two. I want to continue with equal double quote. The first status I want to have is WIP work in progress. Close double quote. I choose format. I choose the color I want to have. I can press OK and press OK. You can notice the WIP is highlighted even though just now we select the first one, D2. That's because the formula is able to work on the magic and it's only checking the value for the column D but for each individual row. Now let's continue for the completed and cancelled. I'm going to do the same thing. 
conditional formatting. New rule. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Click on the formula and click on the very first one, D2, and press F4 twice. Equal double quote completed. Close double quote and go to format. Now I want to use green color and press OK and OK. You can notice this is updated. If let's say I decided I want to use a different color or I have made a mistake, I could just go back to conditional formatting, manage rules. Here you can see all the rules available in this table and you are able to do changes by selecting the rule, edit or you could delete. In the newer version of Excel, you are able to see there's a button called duplicate rule. So now I'm going to duplicate this one and make the changes for cancelled. Duplicate rule. After that, I will go and edit rule. Just change the text to cancelled. And click on the format. And I want to use a gray color. If I want to have some other changes on the border, on the font, on the numbers format, you are able to do so inside conditional formatting. Now let's go back to view. So this uh, option we have selected. I can press OK and OK. Since I do not have anything more to do with the conditional formatting, I will just press OK. And you can see this is updated. Now we are going to do some testing on this tracking sheet. Now I'm going to perform quick tests to see how this tracking sheet works. I'm changing the WIP for project task 3 to completed and changes to green, which is correct. Task number 4, I change it to work in progress. This works perfectly. How about whenever I have a new task with the drop down and the color works? So let's do a simple test here. And the drop down will appear and I can click and choose WIP, it changes. If this is no longer relevant, I can just remove it and the color will just removed. If one fine day I want to add a new status, for example pending, I will just add it here. And the drop down will appear, there's one more called pending. So what you need to do is to select the entire range again, go to conditional formatting, manage rule. If you're using newer version of Excel, you can click on duplicate and change the double code to pending and choose the color of your choice. So this is how we are able to perform a tracking much more efficiently in Excel by using this method. If you find this video benefiting to you, Please consider to share this to your friends and colleagues. At the same time, do consider to subscribe to this channel with the notification bells on. And my name is Tai, your Excel Sifu. My aim is to help you to make friends with your data. Take care and stay safe.